This is the story of the gods and the fate of man. Eons ago, when the earth was young and covered in water, the all-powerful Zeus threw great stones in the sea, creating the Doadecanese Islands as a gift to the other gods. Zeus presented Apollo, god of the sun, with the small island of Kalymnos. The island became one of the finest in the Aegean, richly covered with fig and olive trees, where goats fed on wild oregano and sage and its fine waters were filled with fish and sponges of all varieties. Humans and other gods found their way to this paradise, making it one of the most desirable places to live on Earth. Zeus liked what he saw and decided he wanted to keep the island for himself. Apollo refused, thus angering the god of gods. Zeus, incensed at such insolence, unleashed his rage on the island, creating the great cavity at the place known as Sikati, in a remote corner of the island. He equipped the cave with some of the steepest, most difficult climbing routes ever to be imagined. In an attempt to win the island back, Zeus bet Apollo that no human would ever be able to climb out of the great pit. Apollo accepted the challenge and gathered the strongest humans from all over the known world. The winner would dine at the table of the gods, and thus, Rock Trip on Kalimnos was created. just like climbing, you know, it's, it's a matter of fact. It's like the apes run around the trees, we like to run around the rocks, but it's, it's nothing spiritual about uh, climbing, it's just enjoying to be out there. And uh, it's nothing special about climbing. I like the fact that uh, the pros are coming here because we can watch them and uh, see them by, by close because it's uh, another thing to see them in the videos and uh, another thing to see the real thing. Huh? So it's an opportunity for us and it's an inspiration also. kind of adds to the atmosphere of being in a really big hole. Yeah. Yeah, this well, how does it feel being in this in this in this it's, pit? It's really weird. And from outside it looks like just it looks like a meteor just struck the cliff and then all these stalactites just grew in millions of years. Mm. 
un peu mais ça va il y a des bacs et je suis entrée sans euh, euh, expect, expecter quelque chose alors j'ai grimpé de de, de de gain à de gain et après une heure je pense j'étais à la fin Dur de, de, comment on dit, de, de clip de end, de cracks. Oh.
course it's a really interesting idea because this brings people together and so that they can share the same move, movements and it's, of course it's a, it's a hard route. And that's how Apollo won the bet against Zeus. Apollo was able to keep the island and transform the winners into heroes. To commemorate the occasion, a goat was rescued as an offering to Pan, the god of shepherds and their flocks. That evening, to celebrate, Dionysus, the god of wine, with the help of the muses, threw a huge party that continued until dawn. Zeus admitted defeat and allowed man to do what he loved. He opened up the heavens and let it rain down on the island. As the water filtered through the earth, it picked up precious minerals. It seeped out of the cliff walls and left calcite deposits on the roofs that slowly grew to become stalactites. On less steep walls, the deposits formed colonnettes and other tufa sculptures that were literally made for climbing. The island of Kalimnos became the international climbing destination that it is today. Thus ends the story, but like with all other stories, the ending serves only as a starting point for others. That's what the old man told me. At least that's how I understood it. I mean, I really don't understand Greek very well, but I think that's what he said. Yeah, it's gotta be that. It must be that. No doubt. Oh, oh, oh.